Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. I just want to take a few minutes and recap the uh, the trades that triggered and were called off of the uh, off of both the main stock report and also the uh, supplementary calls that were made intraday via our private Twitter feed for subscribers. So, without further ado, let's move on and take a look at what was on the uh, main stock report uh, published last evening for traders and see what we were looking at on the long side and also the short side. On the long side of the market, we were tracking uh, Akamai long over 63.15, SBLK long over 15.68, ISIL long over 15.93, DYAX long over 11, ANAC over 24.30. That one actually triggered today. Uh, Apollo on the short side below 26.08, and Sohu short under 52.69. First up here is the uh, ANAC ANAC. Trigger long over 24.30. Uh, had a pretty clean, clean break and moved through the through the uh, trigger. Didn't uh, really get going until we got some market support to the upside later on in the day. But as you can see, we closed up near high of the day, and as we we're picking up to the upside here, closing about a little more than a dollar in the money. You can see that the volume did pick up. So nice winner, and uh, definitely something that uh, that definitely helped P and L on the day. Next up was a supplementary call from the uh, from the Twitter feed. This is Goldman Sachs long over 180.18. Stock had showed good relative strength yesterday. The uh, particular sector that it was in was also relatively strong all day. Trigger long over 180.18. Didn't really go too far initially. Pulled back a bit and then finally recharged and uh, did a little bit better. So not a perfect trade, but definitely something that uh, that you should have made a, a few dollars from. Next up was the FireEye call, long over 3569. Uh, again, good relative strength uh, on the day and uh, the previous session. So broke out, pulled back a little bit before working uh, quite a bit more and uh, closing just a little bit in the money. We're looking for a uh, reciprocal move in uh, GoPro. That would be uh, opening at the high, filling the gap, and making an, an equal move to the downside. So the trigger was under $67. I Kind of counseled everybody that was in the trading room at the time that uh, this is something that'll that'll probably take all day to, to fulfill to the downside. Ultimately, it did uh, trigger short under 67, but it went too late. I didn't even actually take this one because of uh, uh, no market support at the time. The mar market was rallying strongly at the time, so we weren't really looking sh for shorts at the time. But it did go enough um, to uh, uh, coop, recoup a, a partial profit at least. So QIHU is a little bit more interesting. Uh, called the short under 79.64, which was uh, yesterday afternoon's base low. Uh, had a pretty well, pretty good sustained selling uh, as it approached the trigger, went through the trigger, and uh, moved pretty decently in the money before closing about flat on the day. Keep this in keep this on the radar for tomorrow because remember the, the market did close relatively uh, positively, but this one uh, barely uh, got back up to the to the trigger and, and uh, got stuck at uh, this resistance area yesterday. Next up was Medivation. Uh, this was uh, threatening to post an outside date down on the daily chart. Short was under uh, 94.51 and trigger ran enough for a partial after taking a while to get there, uh, but it did recoup and uh, and uh, and uh, bounce back. So you should have stopped that out when it went back above the trigger at 94.51. So we don't wind up with a uh, with an outside day down on the chart. Next up was PXD, which is one of my favorite traders. Um, oil futures hit the minus two ace level on the daily time frame, uh, reverse and close near high of the day. The out, the uh, oil futures do have an outside day up on the daily time frame, which is which is technically. Um, very important. So I was looking, just kind of surveying the uh, the uh, energy names. PXD is is a very high beta trader. Um, tends to move with, in big chunks when it gets going. So set a long trigger over 202.65, which was breaking above this resistance that had been working against for uh, many many hours. Finally, with market support kicking in later in the day, it did take that out and uh, move a couple of dollars in the money, giving uh, plenty of opportunity there to take some off. Uh, you can also see the volume that picked up as the stock was moving up. So that was a nice little scalp there late in the day. And there's a little sub $10 name. We don't play a lot of these, but uh, this one had a nice setup on the daily and uh, was working. It's almost the same pattern as you can see versus the uh, the Pioneer, the PXD. So this was long over 747. Uh, went a little bit of the money, just barely enough to uh, 
scratch out a little partial before reversing. I'm probably not going to play again with this uh, tomorrow. Just kind of leave this. This is really a, a little, little pattern breakout over a multi-day resistance area. Uh, so I'm just probably going to leave this again for tomorrow. So we had six trades on the day that triggered with market support. Uh, six of them worked at least enough for a partial. A couple of them, obviously, much more uh, than just the partial. You had a second and a third opportunity in a couple of those. Uh, so, you know, all in all, not a bad little day. Well, that's going to be it for this recap uh, for today. Uh, we'll try and do this on a weekly basis uh, just to check in and so you can see what we're doing here and get a little better feel for the calls off of the main Stock report, and also the uh, supplementary intraday calls off of the uh, the Twitter feed or the Messenger feed. So, as always, thanks for listening, folks. This has been Rich for Trade Site.